see how fast it is. Do it in a firm way. Take it down, push the baffle in, roll it up. Well, we're taking a break from the outdoor stuff and uh, we're going a little bit back to the filmmaking equipment. And uh, I am pretty stoked about one thing. I bought this uh, Godox P90L softbox, parabolic softbox over a year ago and uh, I have been using it uh, quite much but one kind of irritating thing is that you have to do a lot of mounting and demounting to use this parabolic softbox so wait till the end uh, wait till the end of the video and you will see how we're going to do this pretty quick with another parabolic softbox from Godox so I think I'm gonna mount this one in real time so you can see how long time it takes to do it. It's quite easy, but there are one, two, three, four, five parts and a lot of rods. So. As default, I have mounted the rods before and that's how I pack it away. So then that will save you a little bit of time, but still you have to stick in all of the rods here. And as you see, the rods will collide with itself and uh, it's easy to miss the holes but as you work your way around it's getting a little bit easier because then you're getting hold of where the rods are kind of a Mikado game this and also you have to be careful to not break the rods underway and it's getting tighter and tighter for every rod you put in the holes and it's starting to look like a parabolic softbox with a great shape but then you have to turn it around and check if the rods are inside the sleeves here. And of course, some of them aren't. And these rods are made from glass fiber, so be careful when you're bending them. But a little bit would be okay. And the last one here. Ooh, slipped out. Okay, so then we're finished with the first part. Now we have to mount the inner baffle. With a Velcro on every rod all the way around the parabolic softbox. As you see, it's quite easy to do it, but everything takes time. And this is what you're gonna do every time you're having a job, uh, because uh, having this ready in the car would take up too much space and you would not have more room for another equipment. Then, inner baffle ready. Then the outer baffle. And also a backside with taking the baffles off all the time. You're ripping out some fabric from the softbox and eventually it will be worn out.
This is also pretty easy to work your way around the soft box, but it, it takes time. As a step of the mounting, like this. Then the outer baffle is ready. Then we have this cape here to keep the light inside the box, not to leak out too much and contaminate the environment. Then I like to do this diagonally. So there won't be any holes leaking, leaking uh, light. Okay, then it's finished. I didn't take the time and maybe I can put a clock up on the screen, but that's how long it takes to uh, mount the old fashioned parabolic softbox from Godox, the P90L. But now, right there, I have another softbox from Godox. And uh, check how long time that takes. So I have to change this to get proper lighting also for this part of the video. This is universal, it's a 90 centimeter parabolic softbox, both of them. So I used this grid in between them. This very fast and easy with the Velcro system here. And doing instructional videos like this is kind of getting more and more fun. And just talking away along the video. There, then we have some more proper lighting. Since this softbox, the Godox QRP90 already is uh, mounted and ready, I can show how you demount it and pack it away very easy. And then I will do the opposite. So just take apart these four flaps here and here we have quick fix system, just buttons to push, push them in and uh, break down all the rods here. Every rod is fastened to the softbox and uh, Bowen's mount itself and uh, it's not main, meant to be uh, demounted at all. See how fast it is? Do it in a firm way, take it down, push the baffle in, roll it up, and here we have the bag. Put it in the bag like this, which is uh, big enough and not too tight. Zip it up. walk away. Do you want to see how long it takes to mount it? Okay. Three, two, one. Just be a little bit careful when you're bending the rods here. But all of them are clicking in place without getting misshaped. There we go. Roll up the flaps.
Oh. A little rush there. Ready to go. Without the grid, of course. That's the same for the both of them. So, when you're on assignment and you're kind of in a hurry and time tells that you have to hurry up, choose this softbox instead of the old one. I love it.